In this lecture, I will first show you how to remove kubectl because in the previous lecture on installing Minikube, you might have seen that you know the kubectl was still there. It was getting some information about kubectl. So I will first demo how to remove and then reinstall it. Okay, so the removal of kubectl will be done through this command sudo rm front slash user front slash local front slash bin front slash kubectl. So let's get back to our PowerShell and issue this command. So onto my WSL PowerShell and then it is asking for the password for ARCM. So this password was actually asked for with the username for this KRC home that I have selected, I have given the password. So every WSL install will be, you know, you will be asked for the username and password, which you will have to use it again and again. All right. So it accepts the password and uh, so it might have already removed it. Okay. Now I will verify this removal. That's so my screen has disappeared. So again, I have um, bought it back and then see cube CTL successfully removed. Yes, so this script works. So this is the command. If not, command um, flag v cube CTL and greater than front slash dev null, then cube CTL successfully removed. Else fail to remove cube CTL exit one. Okay, then F1. Uh, I will later talk about this explaining the script, but for now we will um, just go for the downloading that um, kubectl again. So then reinstall kubectl. So download the latest version of kubectl with this command. Okay. So so this is the command I have copied. Curl curl command and it will load the latest version of kubectl and then I will make the binary execute with this command. Here is the command. So it has uh, made the binary executable and then I will move the binary to my path. So moving the binary to my path will be like this. It is asking for the password. Password is silent. If password is accepted, and then how to verify the installation? It is very similar to how to how I verified the uninstall or removal. Okay, so I've got another uh, script. If kubectl version dash dash client and greater than dev null, then echo kubectl successfully installed, or otherwise fail to install kubectl. Let's see, kubectl successfully installed. So, kubectl is actually successfully installed. So, we will now have a quick look at the script, how it worked. 